Carson City Golds and Gun. This was uh, the first expansion, I believe. I think there's a promo card of the Indian that was out first, but this is the first expansion that came out. And it added some neat things to the game. So if you've seen how Carson City uh, plays and you want to see how this is going to add to it, uh, this is a good video to do that. I mean, you're going to see some new buildings that are going to come in. You're going to see some new characters, which is important. It can be mixed right in. The only thing that's really going to change things a lot is the Outlaws. And that's going to that's going to add some organized chaos to the game. So these guys are going to randomly come out on the board somewhere. But wherever they come out randomly, they are going to seek out the uh, store around them or the building around them that is creating the most income. So... There's not enough rounds and rounds in the game for them to move from one side of the board to the other. That's not going to happen. So, within a geographical area, now it's it's, it's very likely or at least probable that they would hit the person at a four-player game, the person who's in third place, and hit his best building, and he could be eliminated, or he has to fight that outlaw to get him off. That's that's feasible, which may set him back. But you get victory points for doing that, so it, it may offset it. I don't know about the balancing, perhaps. Uh, what you would like the Outlaws to do, I suppose, is hit whoever's in first or second and kind of hold them back a little bit and make it a catch-up mechanic, perhaps. Or maybe you just want to be straight-up luck, which is what it is. Um, but fighting those Outlaws gives you the victory points and, and, and a good amount of those, you know, between three and five, I believe. So um, that can be quite a bit for what is a gunfight. So if you're going to go that route, you know, maybe you want to get to three gun and start doing some things. But... Um, there are some new buildings. It introduces the, the station, too, which is the first one that doesn't give you any income. It just gives you a victory point for connecting the roads back and forth. So that's a good one, too. And then, you know, you got the city hall that people will be fighting over quite a bit. Some, some interesting buildings come out in this one. This is an expansion that I would probably add for sure. I'm a big Carson City fan, but this is going to give you enough different stuff to add to the game. I do like it. And you will get the Indian promo in this one. So if, if you're worried about having a everything that's in, you don't have to buy the promo. It's included in this one. That's exactly what the promo is. So that was cool that they did that. Um, the dynamite is neat. I like uh, the auctioning off of some of the properties. That's really cool. So some new things come out in this. Uh, this is a, an instant buy if you like Carson City. If not for the variety, but it does change the game. And these things are kind of modular. So you can add some dynamite. You could add the outlaws or not. So... Uh, add what buildings you like and don't like, or if you want certain combinations to be in, that's fine too. There, there's no, it's not an all or nothing proposal with this, although it's not really set up to be modular, it's very easy to do. Add the buildings or don't, it's not going to affect the game. When the game is played, you will play with what comes out, and that's fine too. If you want to stay away from randomness, stay away from the outlaws. I think even there's a rule for them to hit whoever's by them, I think it adds quite a bit of randomness, and that can irritate some people, especially in a planning game. For me, I'm okay with it. It stinks if it hits you, but I, I can roll with it. Um, but if you don't want that, I would not I would not add the Outlaws. And I don't think that'll affect you. I think there's still so much, just the characters alone, there's so much in there depending on price and the new building. So there's going to be a keeper for me. And I'm going to tell you that if you're going to get Carson City and you find out you like the game, this will probably be an instant buy for you. Okay, so the components for Carson City Golds and Guns uh, the box kind of looks like that. This is an unpunched version. So you're going to get a cheat sheet that will include all the new buildings that you're going to get. This is super handy and very nice to have. I wish there was some text on it, but I guess the uh, icons will have to do. You are going to get some new characters. you get a guy who will allow you to use dynamite now. So uh, if you go on this reverse side, he will give you two dynamite which you can use in fights. You got uh, a lot of stuff that's going to help you with fighting. Um, you get two points if you, f if you win a duel. And she gets a couple space on the board. You, nobody can attack you. This doctor is interesting. So what he does, for $3, if somebody loses a duel, they can replace it. They have to pay $3 to you. If you utilize this, it's free. He gives you a road and a point, victory point for each road that you place. I find this guy to be very valuable. This guy allows you to auction off two properties. You get to keep the money unless you win. Uh, two free lands. You roll the dice and they're random. Then you have this little variant that comes with um, the th these guys. So basically these guys are going to come on the board and just, just a lot of randomness. They're going to go to 
towards the highest buildings and they're going to start taking the income. And you can fight them and get victory points. It's kind of how that works. And there's some auction tokens for you. Each of these guys, as usual, are double sided and they use some of the higher numbers that are coming in that will fill up those gaps that we have. You're also going to get some dynamite chips and some the, the no fighting tokens that you'll need and some higher end buildings. You're not going to see a blacksmith who just gives you a certain amount of income. The general store. This is a new kind of token. It doesn't give you money or, or tile. It gives you victory points for every two houses and you don't have to own them. That can be a good in uh, of turn card. And the city hall is one that will be allows you to double some stuff. So it, it's a highly contested area. The church that will be out there and the school is nice. And you got the saloons. And this gives you a lot of a higher end because you now have these townhouses. So you can now flip over houses to make them worth double instead of building houses, which is really nice because when you're by, like, say, the general store or, or one of these drugstores, you know, there's only so many spaces. But now these spaces can utilize two houses, and that's really cool. And it can be extremely useful, but make these houses worth a lot of money. You're also going to get some, uh, these are the outlaws that will be moving around. They're black, of course, because they're bad guys. And they will be moving around the board and causing havoc. This will this will turn some people off and some people on because you're going to add some randomness. So, But they do move towards the player with the most, but you can really screw somebody over with this. And somebody who's behind can get hit, and it's going to turn some people off. So that's going to be Carson City, Gold, and Guns. One of the big things is it's going to add... The Indian promo that people had a hard time getting. It adds it to this. So uh, mainly what you're going to get is new rules. You're going to get the new game or the new uh, variant where you can add the outlaws, which will add some randomness to it. And some new buildings that perhaps can add some variety to the game. And can these townhouses sure, sure do uh, change things a lot, I, I thought. That subtle way of changing things pretty good. But the spaces can get bigger and definitely make your um, Carson City look different when it's built to have these high rises, if you will, these townhouses, these two story homes out there. And that's kind of how they'll be utilized. So the cardboard is all very thick and the same. These little meeple things are neat. What works, what we're used to with Carson City, everything's the same quality. I do like the artwork on it. I have to say that this is a good expansion. I would highly recommend. I'm a huge fan of the base game, so this is going to be a good, good addition. The rules in Gold and Guns is, is, is a fairly sizable upgrade from the original. But, in all fairness, all you get here is new characters, new buildings, and the Outlaws. So, three things you're adding, and you're not adding how to play the game or any other things like that. So, there's going to add variety and differences to the game more than it's going to add completely different. Although, the Outlaws do change some things. Uh, not any rules, it just adds some randomness to the game. And some of the characters, just like in the first game, whatever characters you chose would perhaps change your strategy so will these characters so there's some new things like the dynamite and the auctioning off but the rules do a good job they, they, they improve this from the original one so uh, I'm, I'm happier with this rule book for sure who should buy gold and guns anyone who likes the original Carson City um, I hesitate to say that this is a must buy with the original. I had a lot of fun with the original before I got to this. But if you're going to play Carson City or you want to jump right in with variety, this is it. If you feel like you like a little bit more randomness in your games, then I would definitely add the Outlaws to this. It's, it's not going to make it a random shoot. The Outlaws are going to affect one or two buildings um, and the higher end buildings, hopefully. Um, so, But they're controlled chaos and our controlled randomness which is important it's not just lose a card or lose a turn or something silly you know that where when they land what they're going to be going after and sometimes there's some really fun fighting that goes on i've seen some real interesting gameplay that happens um storytelling game you know okay i got an outlaw coming to this bank uh i'm in third place that kind of stinks but i'm gonna get guns and start shooting a couple people i'm gonna do here and here and here changing my strategy a little bit sure but I have to because I need these victory points. I need to get these guys out of my income. But since I'm going guns, I'm going to try to take your building too while I'm in this. So that can be fairly interesting also. Uh, Golden Guns. I'm going to recommend this. This is a keeper for fans of Carson City. <laughs> 